my parents and I, you know, we're basically investors. But the idea was, you know, market niche, you know, you're you know, providing something that other landlords might not be able to provide. Plus the advantage is, you know, we have a place where my dad could move to if he really needs to move somewhere. Whenever I do a project, I pretend I'm the person living there. So that way I thought, well, you know, if I'm here in a wheelchair, how do I know who's outside ringing my doorbell? Well, I'm going to put a little remote control camera in. And then, uh, well, how do I get downstairs to let someone in? Well, I have a remote control, you know, electric strike. Press a button, the person lets themselves in. For me, the three key issues in making a home barrier free <clears throat> is to have no step entrance uh, so one can get in, uh, to have some sort of vertical access, like an elevator or a stair lift, and then to have uh, a kind of a wet room for a bathroom, so uh, an area where somebody in a wheelchair could actually wheel right into the, to the shower area. So these were three things that we were able to, to develop into this house. And other features like wider doors and lower light switches and kitchen cabinets that maybe are a little bit lower, that sort of thing uh, we, we incorporated as well. Our fastest growing population are the 85 plus and there's a huge demand for it. So whether you're somebody with a disability or not, you can rent this place. So in many ways, he's opened up his market to, to more people, which is a smart business thing.